I think fundamentally we need, as individuals and communities, to be committed to being in solidarity with, with both the working poor and with those who are not in, in work at all and those who are sort of below whatever poverty line we're talking about. But I think one of the things that has been clear, to, well, certainly clear to many of us prior to the pandemic is the way in which there's been an, an invisibility around those around the margins. And one of the things that I think politics have always been cynically done, there's a, um, a wonderful book that was written by a, a friend of mine who sadly died a few months ago called Theodore Jennings. Uh, and the book is called Good News to the Poor. Uh, and in the book is particularly looking at this uh, Wesleyan tradition. And one of the key things I've never forgotten, he says that actually that Christianity is a movement and certainly many of church movements, so certainly non-conformist movements, started in solidarity with people who were marginalized and poor. And essentially what's happened is that those traditions become more respectable is that we reflect, is that we've replaced our commitment to the poor for the preferential option for the middle class. And so what tends to happen with politics and, and with the whole kind of respectability politics is that as long as you can get the middle ground of largely respectable people on your side and you develop policies that win them over, then the fact that there are huge swerves of people outside of that who are not caught up in, in any particular safety net and are, in terms of food banks, the biggest economy in the world, and yet we have people who need to, to go to those places simply to eat, is a scandal. But the scandal was hidden for us, and so long as we couldn't see it, and as long as we were largely unaware of it, then we could pretend that life was normal and was okay. What the pandemic has shown, either through people who are doing frontline working, often underpaid, or the people who are predominantly dying, is that they have been hidden. So what we need to be do differently is to be in solidarity with people. And we do that through human contact, so, so encouraging people to volunteer to be in groups and communities that will get us alongside people whose stories we need to hear, whose insights of what it is to struggle on the margin, to be barely living, that we need to, and to hear that, and that is to impact on us and then that will trouble our kind of respectability politics that says that so long as we're kind of okay and the preferential option for the middle class has been maintained that we're doing well.